in this video we're going to take it a little bit further um, we're going through this fast now there's a lot of other setup and tips and tricks and tools behind the scenes we can use to make this more fluid I'm just giving you the 10 cent overview on how this stuff works now we're going to jump back to Revit and we're going to open up that file now we want to make sure we open up the right spot so I'm going to come over here and hit append again and I want to see where everything's being pulled from it's being pulled the BIM guys building new and you can see we have our NWC files in here and we have our Revit files now cancel out of that I'll leave this open at this point I may also hit save as and I may save this in this folder see it says an NWF now let's say this is our hospital file NWF and we hit save excuse me on that now we're gonna go to Revit in Revit we'll close out of this model for a moment I will leave it open we may come back to it uh, I'm gonna go open project save the project no cancel and we go we want to go to that particular folder we want to make sure we're opening the right file now that could be a copy and that's that's important to know I'm gonna hit open on that and I'll pick the electrical now I hit detach from central and I hit open on this here um, normally you would have all your files set up where they would automatically update and you had the right central file etc since I move these all around for the training all of my pathing got a little jacked up so normally you would just edit the file refresh it and you're good to go again if you need help on this feel free to give us a call the revitguys.com or the bimguys.com alright now this is opening up and we need to go take a look at that uh, that conduit now I'm gonna zoom in over here and what I used was a thing called uh, um, I used a thing called section box to make this happen now how section box works is let me go ahead and delete this out go ahead and grab this little element okay now let me just go ahead and turn it off go to properties box I'm going to turn that little section box off and there we go now here's a nice little tool if you've made it this far through the video I'll throw you a bone here or something fun there's a tool in Revit um, there well a tool that's not in Revit that you may want to consider loading into Revit and it's called coin section box uh, if you were at the meeting great um, I go to add-ins and it's called coin section box you can download this for free off the internet uh, you can go to the exchange apps area right here now what coin section box does it lets you actually select the objects let's say I come over here and I pick let's say this piece of conduit I grab the piece of conduit and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go up top and hit coin section box I got a shortcut here coin section box says okay you want to make you want to set up for that yes again some of these things I'm jumping through fast to show you how it works but we can get into more more in depth in another meeting or another situation you'll notice how that conduit is actually crashing into that piece of steel now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that conduit and I'm just gonna nudge it out of the way like so okay Whoop. I'm gonna delete that little piece all right so what we've done is we've nudged that conduit out of the way as you can see it's clear now so if we've, we've rectified the problem now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down and go to save as Whoop. project I'm actually going to overwrite the original one now normally what you would do is if you had your central file set up and all that all the stuff would refresh so I hit save on that uh, would you like to replace it I'm hit yes okay now here's where it gets interesting I've updated the file here now the next time we go back to Navisworks and we tell it to refresh let's see what Rev uh, Navisworks is going to see I'm gonna drop this down and hit append again now here is where it starts to get kind of interesting you'll notice here I have my NWC files and I have my electrical file Now you'll notice my electrical file is 1102 p.m. and my NWC is 1035 Rev excuse me Navisworks is going to compare these when I try to refresh them it will notice there's a problem there and it will then delete this one and recreate the NWC now let's take a look at that on paper on a sketch pad so we can make it clear so here was our original setup we had the nav, nav folder right and we had all the Revit files and the WGs. the first time we appended the files Revit came through and created all the NWC files now what has happened is we went and actually edited the E 
RVT file. Now we came over here and what actually happened was, I'm going to grab this little eraser here, we actually erased this file, right? That's pretty much what happened. And we came back and we put a new one in. Excuse me, let me change over my pen here. So E whoop, and dot R V T. So we put a new one in here on a new day. Let's say everything else is done on a Tuesday. Let's say this is on Tuesday, this is on Tuesday, this is on Tuesday, this is on Tuesday. And we actually ran all these files on Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. And we fixed this thing on, let's say, Thursday. So Thursday. Now, this one's fixed on Thursday. Time to refresh. So if we tell um, Navisworks to refresh, I'll just draw a little cute little arrow here, a little refresh icon, right? When we tell Navisworks to refresh, what it does, it comes down to list. It says, okay, Revit file, Tuesday, NWC, Wednesday. Check. That's the one we're using. Next, it says structure. Revit, that's on Tuesday. This is built on Wednesday. This is newer. Use it. Check. Comes over here. It says electrical on Thursday. Navisworks file on Wednesday. Oh, no. We're not going to use this file. So what it's going to do is it's going to come over here, and it's going to actually erase this file. Yep, just erase it on out of there. And then it's going to come back and recreate this file. So it comes over here and says, I want a new. And we'll come over here and click this real quick. And it says, I want a new E dot N W C. And what file does it load? This one. And then it goes down the line. Chick, chick. So that's what happens when we, we refresh. So it's keeping track of these files. So here's the real trick. Over here, you manage these files. Navisworks manage these files. So as long as you keep these up to date, Navisworks will keep comparing them and update the NWCs as needed. So that's the real trick there. So let's go see it actually happen. So here we are back in Navisworks. And as we go up top, you'll see it says refresh. Now. If I hit refresh, what it's going to do is going to run through that sequence of events again. Now I want you to notice where these two, this clash right here is, right? And I'm going to hit refresh. Now it's going to start to run. It starts comparing them. Tick, tick, tick. And it picked it up. It said, hey, the electrical needs to be updated. So it's running through that now. It's then checking all the other ones and making sure everything is correct. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment, let it run through its sequencing, and then in about 30 seconds to, I don't know, three or four minutes, uh, this process will be complete. So it just finished this process. It took about two minutes to run through all the files and verify. And you'll notice here that the conduit is now not touching the steel anymore. Now, the Clash Detective doesn't even know that yet. So we're going to go back to Clash Detective. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to rerun that scenario again. So all we have to do is hit Highlight the test that we want, and then hit Rerun Test. What it does, it goes through. And you'll notice what happened here. You'll notice how one turned yellow. Notice that one is resolved. So the problem we had, we have two clashes. One is active, one is resolved. Now the one that's still active is that, that, that conduit up on the roof here. You'll see how it's still hitting. We didn't fix that one. So that would be, uh, that would be for another day. Now you'll notice that it's still showing up. You're like, oh, well, I don't need that showing up every time. And uh, I can go ahead and hit uh, this little thing. It says compact. It gets rid of all the ones we're not using. So there, as you can see, there's lots in these boxes. There's lots of stuff up top here. Again, this is an overview. If you'd like to learn more about how to do this, feel free to give us a call. Um, CadTechSeminars.com, TheBIMGuys.com, and we can go through this in depth on setting it up, utilizing it. And if that's not for you, we also do this as a service. We will collaborate models from different groups um, for a fee, but give us a call and we can give you a quote on managing the models for you. That way, it's one less thing you have to worry about. So that is how we, uh, we run them together, clash them, and manage them. Every time we do this, we can also create reports. We can tag who's doing what. And we can manage this um, as these components are being refreshed and the models are being refreshed and keep track of all the changes that are going through the model. We may not want to hit this. We want to keep track of all of them, and we can. We can say at the end of the project, we had, eight, let's say, 87 clashes that we've grouped together, uh, and 87 have been resolved. 
uh, it's a it's a process of going through it but um, Navisworks makes it a lot easier so hope you enjoyed the presentation if you have any questions or comments again check us out on the web at thebimguys.com thank you